Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a real great personal pleasure for me to introduce Sima Sama. Sima Sama probably doesn't need much introduction as uh, most of these prominent, of our prominent speakers tonight, uh, especially since she has been in the news recently for winning the uh, Right Livelihood Award 2012, which is the Nobel Prize, alternative Nobel Prize for humanitarian uh, activities and uh, work. The uh, CV of Sima Sama is long, turbulent, and uh, reflects the drama occurring in the region where she comes from, Afghanistan. She studied medicine. She pre practiced, practiced as a medical doctor in a hospital in uh, Kabul. And uh, then her husband disappeared for mysterious reasons, and she had to flee Kabul and uh, Afghanistan to save her own life. She went to Pakistan. She built up a hospital in Pakistan, worked again as a doctor. And then in 2002, she returned to Afghanistan. She was uh, uh, in the cabinet of uh, the uh, uh, Afghan uh, government for women's affairs. And then she criticized the Sharia law. And after six months, she had to leave the cabinet again. And uh, then she has been, from 2005 to 2006, a special rapporteur for human rights for the United Nations. And now she is the chairperson of the Afghan Independent Human Rights Commission. And uh, we are very much looking forward, uh, Ms. Sama, uh, what uh, you have to tell us about your life experience and what we have to consider when we consider world health. Thank you very much for coming. Very much looking forward to your talk. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to everybody. I'm sorry that it's not my personal experience, but I'm talking about health and human rights. <clears throat> it is my honor and pleasure to be among such a distinguished people and personalities who care about their human health and dignity. The right to health is a fundamental part of human rights and of our understanding of life with dignity. Human rights are interdependent indivisible and interrelated. This means that violating the rights to health may often empire in the enjoyment of other human rights, such as the right to education, work, food, or justice, and vice versa. <clears throat> the right to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of physical and mental health was first articulated in the 1946 con Constitution of WHO whose preamble defines health as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. It further states that the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health is one of the fundamental right, rights of every human being without distinction of race, religion, political belief, economic, and social condition. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights also mentioned the rights to health as a part of the right to an adequate standard of living, Article Number 25. The right to health was again recognized as human rights in 1966 International Co Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights. Almost every state has ratified at least one international human rights treaty, which recognized the right to health moreover states have committed themselves to prote protecting the rights through international declaration, domestic legislation, and pol policies. <clears throat> the Human Rights Council, a previous Human Rights Commission from 2002, created a mandate of a special rapporteur on the rights to everyone to the highest standard of physical and mental health. This initiative has helped clarify the nature of the right to health and how it can be achieved. The right to health is an inclusive right 
we usually associated the right to health with access to health care and building the ho of hospitals and clinics, which is correct. But the right to health means much more. It includes a wide range of factors such as safe drinking water and sanitation, safe food, adequate shelter, healthy working environment, health-related education and information, and more importantly, gender equality. <clears throat> All these factors can help us lead a healthy and dignified life. The right to health contains freedom. These include the right to be free from non-consensual medical treatment, such as medical experiments and research, forced sterilization, and free from torture and other cruel, inhuman, degrading treatment and punishment. The right to health contains ent entitlement. This includes the equal opportunity for everyone to enjoy the access to health, to highest attainable level of health, to prevention, treatment, and control of disease, access to essential medicines, reproductive health care, mother and child health care, equal and timely access to basic health services, and more importantly, participation of the population in health-related decision-making at the national and community level. Non-discrimination is a key principle of human rights, and it is crucial to the enjoyment of the right to health. All services, goods, and facilities must, must be accessible, acceptable, and of good quality. The state has responsibility to have enough functioning public health services and healthcare facilities available to all the population, including the vulnerable group, such as women, children, elderly, and people with disability. The facilities, goods, and services should also respect medical ethics and gender-sensitive and culturally acceptable and treat the persons with respect, dignity, and confidentiality. Trained health professional, scientifically approved and unexpired drug and hospital equipment, adequate sanitation and safe drinking water is equally important for the right to health. Ladies and gentlemen, the right to health has strong link to other human rights. The right to health contribute to the realization of other human rights. This includes the right to food, to water, to an adequate standard of living, to adequate shelters, to freedom from discrimination, to privacy, to access to information, to participation and the right to benefit from scientific progress and its obligations. The link between the right to health and the right to clean water is obvious, and this is such a big problem in underdeveloped countries. Health is clearly associated with unsafe water and lack of sanitation, which cause digestive disease and cause approximately 1.5 million deaths worldwide each year. Non-discrimination and equality are fundamental human rights principles and are important components of the right to health. States has obligation to prohibit, eliminate discrimination on all grounds and ensure equality to all in relation to access to health care and services. The International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, Article Number 5, also stresses states must prohibit and eliminate racial discrimination and guarantee the right to everyone to public health and medical care. Non-discrimination inequality also requires the states to recognize the pro and provide specific health care to more vulnerable groups such as women and children and persons with disability. Positive measures to, of protection are particularly necessary when gr some groups of persons have continuously been discriminated against in the practice of state or private actors. Also, the Committee of Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights has ma made it clear that there is no justification for the lack of protection of vulnerable member of society from health-related discrimination, be in law or in fact. So even if the times are hard during conflict and financial crisis, vulnerable member of society must be protected. The right to health is also recognized in several regional instruments, such as the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, 1981, the Additional Protocol to American Convention on Human Rights in 
in the area of economic, social, and cultural rights, known as Protocol of San Salvador, 1988, and European Social Charter in 1969, and the European Convention for the Promotion of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedom, 1950s, contains provisions related to health. But unfortunately, the Asian countries yet have to work and to have such an instrument to promote the right to health as a basic human rights for their citizens. Some groups or individuals, such as women, children, people with disability, and persons who live with HIV AIDS, face a specific problem in relation to the right to health. These can be due to biological or socioeconomic factors, discrimination and cultural stigma, or most of the time, lack of information in combination of these. States should adapt positive and special measures to ensure that these groups of individuals are not discriminated against. The following groups require specific attention to their right to health as basic human rights. Women. Women as a half of the population of the world face more discrimination than men, particularly in underdeveloped countries. The prevalence of poverty and economical dependency to the male member of the family, domestic violence, and gender-based violence, the limited power many women have over their sexual and reproductive lives and their lack of information and influence in decision-making or social fact in realities, which have a strong impact on their health, so women face particular health issues and particular discrimination. Both the International Convention of economic, social, and cultural rights, and the Convention of El the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women requires the elimination of discrimination against women in health care, as, as well as guarantee equal access for women and men to health care services. See the on Article number 14 specifically calls upon states to ensure that also women ru in rural areas participate in the benefit of, from rural development and have access to e adequate health care facilities, counseling and services, and family planning. Special attention should be paid by the state to the services related to pregnancy, childbirth, and postnatal period, including family planning and emergency obstetric care. States are responsible to ensure safe motherhood and reduce maternal mortality and morbidity. Sexual and reproductive health is also a key respect of women's rights to health. States should enable women to have control over the and decide freely and responsibly on issues related to their sexuality, including their sexual and reproductive health, to be free to choose the number of their children and space among the children. Violence against women is a widespread cause of physical and psychological harm or suffering of among women, as well as violation of their rights to health. Usually religion and culture are misused against women and violate their basic human rights, including the rights to health. States has an obligation to protect women against these harmful practices. Children. Children face particular health challenges related to the stage of their physical and mental development, which makes them more vulnerable to malnutrition and infectious disease such as respiratory infection, diarrhea, polio, measles, malaria, malaria, and malnutrition, or combined of all of these. In this regard, the International Convention of Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights and Convention on the Right of Ch Child recognize the obligation on the state to reduce infant and child mortality and combat diseases and malnutrition. In addition, the child health is closely related to the mother health condition. For example, HIV transmission of uh, infection through mother to child, a baby born on the HIV positive mothers, has 25 to 35% chances of becoming infected during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. Government and health professionals have to pay particular attention to the need of children and adolescents and treat them in non-discriminatory manner. Adolescents are generally healthy group, but they're exposed to risky behavior, sexual violence, and sexual exploitation. 
Girls in this age are more vulnerable to sexual abuse, forced marriages, and early unwanted pregnancies. People with disability, or persons with disability, people with disability have been neglected and marginalized by the states in society. They have been treated as object of charity and medical intervention. Only in recent years, attention has been paid to their human rights, including but not limited to the right to health. The newly adapted Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability requires the states to promote, protect, and ensure the full and equal, equal enjoyment of all human rights and fundamental freedom by persons with disability, including their rights to health without discrimination. State, states must provide health services designed to mi minimize and prevent further disability, as well as orthopedic and rehabilitation in support their social reintegration. The principle of non-discrimination requires that persons with disability should be provided with the same range, quality, and standards of free of or affordable health care and programs equal to other persons. Migrant and refugees. Migration in refugees has become a major political, social, and economic phenomena with significant human rights consequences. The growing conflict and economical problem in the region causes a lot of people to be displaced and a lot of people cross the border of their neighboring countries. Their enjoyment of the rights to health is often limited because of their legal status, language, and cultural barrier vulnerable to discrimination in violation of their human rights, including the right to health. Migrants and refugees, right to health is mostly related to and to and dependent on their working and living condition in legal status in order to address migrant and refugee health issues. States should also take steps to realize their human rights and treat them with dignity. Persons with HIV and AIDS. There are more than 33 million people living with HIV AIDS worldwide. That is why with globalization and lack of education and information, more people might be in danger of infected with HIV AIDS. The epidemic has had a serious devastating effect on human rights and development in many places. Protecting and promoting human rights are essential for preventing the transmission of HIV, reducing the impact of AIDS on people's life. Many human rights are relevant to HIV AIDS, such as the right to freedom from discrimination, the right to life equally before the law, the right to privacy, and the right to the highest attainable standard of health. States should put in place laws and policies that protect and promote human rights of the people with HIV AIDS. Particular attention should be paid to the more vulnerable group with HIV, such as women and children. There Easy and equal access to the information and essential medicine is crucial to save the human dignity. States' obligations towards the right to health. States have the primary obligation to protect and promote human rights. Human rights obligations are defined and guaranteed by international human rights treaties, creating binding obligations on the states that have ratified them to, to give effect to these rights. The international treaties do not offer a set of prescriptions to the states, but the states' parties are obliged to take all appropriate means and measures, including the adoption of legislation, legislative reform according to the principles of human rights. The minimum obligation of the states are A, the right to ac of access to health facilities, goods, and services on a non-discriminatory basis especially for the vulnerable groups and marginalized population. B, access to minimum essential food, which is nutritionally adequate and safe. C, access to shelter and sanitation and adequate supplies of clean and safe water. D, the provision of essential drugs and equitable distribution of all health facilities, goods, and services. The state obligation would be in three categories. Respect, protect, and fulfill. The obligation to respect requires states to refrain from interfering 
directly or indirectly with their rights to health. For example, states should refrain from denying or limiting access to healthcare services from marketing unsafe drugs, from imposing discriminatory practices related to women, women's health in need, such as limiting their access to contraceptive or reproductive health care. The obligation to protect requires states to prevent <coughs> excuse me, um, third parties from interfering with the right to health. States should have legislation to ensure that private health care providers to respect the right to health as basic human rights and their activities practices the non-discriminatory principle. The obligation to fulfill, fulfill requires the states to adopt appropriate legislative, administrative, budgetary, judicial promotion, and other measures to fully realize the right to health. The government should adopt a national health policy or national health plan covering public and private sectors to ensure the provision of health care for all people without any discrimination with full accountability. Of course, the other have responsibility. There is no doubt that the provision of health care is the obligation of the states, but the private sectors in the United Nations, aid agencies, and health professionals also have responsibility to protect and promote the right to health as fundamental human rights. The UN Charter declared that one of the purposes of the UN is promoting of human rights and international human rights treaties and convention. For instance, the World Bank, IMF, and UN specialized agencies like UNICEF are requested to cooperate effectively with the relevant states on the national implementation of all rights. The UN agencies, in particular UNICEF, UNIFPA, WHO, UN program on HIV AIDS has an obligation to speed up their work on health and human rights. The private sector and businesses can affect the rights to health very much. Companies marketing pharmaceutical equipment many country, may contribute positively to the right to health, but may also can make accessibility and affordability more difficult. Businesses are considered to have responsibilities with respect to human rights. The states should consider a rule and regulation to ensure that the businesses respect the human rights of the people, including the rights to health. Ladies and gentlemen, what has been said is the requirement that all the states should consider, but the reality and fact in the ground in developing countries are quite sad. I do not have enough information about the right to health in every country, but based on my experience in the region, the following are the main obstacle to the human rights in general, which also violate the rights to health. One, lack of political will of the leadership in the countries toward promotion and protection of human rights, including the right to health as fundamental human rights. Two, Lack of legislation which should promote and protect the human rights of people, including the right to health. Three, poverty and lack of facilities, goods, and programs. Four, misuse of tradition and culture by conservative part of the state and societies in order to avoid access to <coughs> contraceptive and reproductive health care for women, such as, of course, if, if GM and, and in Africa, and also ban on uh, use of condom for prevention and transmission of HIV, AIDS, and etc. Five, conflict in the use of public resources for military program rather than protecting the people's right to health. Six, lack of accountability and justice for discriminatory behavior of leadership in health professionals. Uh, seven, preference to businesses profit than respect for human rights and human dignity. Eight, Lack of international mechanism to keep the states responsible and accountable to fulfill their obligation toward their human rights, including the right to health. Nine, the lack of information and awareness among the population about the interrelation of other human rights issues to the health and right to health, such as clean water and sanitation, access to food, shelter, clean and healthy working and living environment. 10, conflict in human suffering causes inhuman acts such as terrorism 
in violation of human rights, people's access to healthcare and humanitarian services. 10, finally, poverty and lack of education is the main reason for violation of human rights, including the right to health. Um, recommendations. One, the states should take their obligation with strong political will for respect, for protect, and respect, protect, and fulfill towards the human rights, including the right to health. Two, the states should ensure the access of all sectors of society to the attainable and good quality of health facilities without discrimination. Three, special attention should be paid to the requirement and need of the vulnerable group of people in the society, including the women's choices, in control over their sexuality and reproductive rights. Four, <clears throat> the state has to reform their laws, legislation according to their obligation to international human rights treaties and conventions. Five, poverty elimination and reduction does have direct impact on human rights, particularly the right to health. Six, the state have to provide information and awareness about health issues, including the in the curriculum of schools and other educational institutions. Seven, promote the rule of law and accountability and justice for violation of human rights, including the right to health. Eight, the UN and business sectors should also respect the human rights as integral part of their policies and also accountable to state and public for, for their activities regarding the human rights of consumers. Nine, the health project should be designed on human rights-based approach and the need of the society rather than one standard prescription by the donor's community. 10, finally, it is a moral responsibility of all of us to promote and protect the human rights values and principles to save our own dignity in humanity. The healthy human society will reduce the conflict in human suffering or of all human beings and our future generation. In conclusion, I would say that, that unfortunately there is not one standard for the right to health in the world. The existence of different political opinion, behaviors, and financial resources has direct impact on the right to health. Discrimination against people based on gender, ethnicity, color, belief, and geographic location continues without accountability. We need to work united and hard to globalize the human rights values and principles to save humanity. I believe that injustice to the right to health will cause injustice to every other aspect of our life. Thank you very much for your patience.